Hi, this is Dr. Beltre uh, from Beltre Bariatrics. I'm going to be speaking specifically about the gastric sleeve. The gastric sleeve or the sleeve gastrectomy or the vertical gastric sleeve or the vertical sleeve, it's the most commonly done weight loss procedure worldwide, right? And uh, the reason this is so is because it's, it's a safe procedure. It is the safest of the procedures that we do, the safest of the metabolic procedure, the weight loss procedure that uh, we do. The surgery, first of all, is done laparoscopically, right? Meaning small incisions. With the gastric sleeve, it's anywhere between four to six incisions, very small. The biggest incision is less than half an inch, which we try to hide in the belly button so you don't even see it. The other one, about the diameter of a pencil, five millimeters. So depending how you heal, uh, you hardly see anything. The surgery takes about an hour or less to do. And essentially, what we are doing is removing the segment of the stomach here called the fundus, right? So your stomach now goes from being like a football to more like a banana-shaped stomach. Okay, this part of the stomach that is removed is called the fundus. That's the, the part of the stomach that does two things. And number one, it stretches so you can eat more. And number two, it makes a hormone called ghrelin that makes you hungry. So by removing the segment of the stomach, we are controlling both uh, portions, controlling appetite. Uh, weight loss, however, is not so much based on the fact that you're eating less, right? Uh, weight loss with these procedures also has to do with the fact that these are metabolic procedures. In other words, removing the segment of the stomach will cause your body to release certain type of hormones that regulate your metabolism and you begin to lose weight fairly quickly. Average weight loss the first month uh, can be anywhere between 15 to 30 pounds with a gastric sleeve. Then after that, you're gonna be losing eight, 10 a month uh, for the next year, year and a half, depending how much weight you need to lose. Average weight loss the first year, it can be anywhere between one, 100 to 150 pounds, uh, depending on how large the individual is, how much weight they need to lose. Of course, this surgery, I always tell my patients, is not a magic solution, right? This is a tool, this is a tool that we provide for you to help you change dietary habits. Surgery works well, but it still needs to be combined with good eating habits. During those changes, the surgery will make things easier because it will give you the portion control, appetite control, then the metabolic boost to help you lose weight fairly quickly, but still needs to be combined with good eating habits. Those metabolic uh, changes that I talked about include the release of a hormone called GLP-1, which helps get rid of type 2 diabetes fairly quickly. So patients that have type 2 diabetes for maybe three or less years that are taking a pill or to uh, control it can easily be controlled. Uh, the glucose can be e easily be controlled after the sleeve gastrectomy. And a lot of the time the diabetes, 70, 80% of the time diabetes just stops, uh, type 2 diabetes stops uh, completely. Of course, in addition to type 2 diabetes, you'll treat things like sleep apnea, high blood pressure, which can go away fairly quickly after a gastric uh, sleep. So it's a good uh, procedure, works really well. The least of the, uh, the least risky of all of the procedures that uh, we do. So, so those are some of the pros of the gastric sleep. In addition to that, the sleep has no vitamin deficiency, if you think about, or very little to no vitamin deficiency. We're just working on the stomach. Okay, so anything that goes past the sleeve, you will absorb in the small intestine. So there is uh, not that much uh, vitamin deficiency to speak with the gastric sleeve. So those are the, some of the uh, positive points with the gastric sleeve. One very big positive point that I personally like as a bariatric surgeon is that with the gastric sleeve, you haven't burned any bridges, right? You can always, if somebody didn't lose enough weight or they want to have another procedure in the future because of weight regain, uh, you can convert the sleeve to any other procedure and you can do it very easily. So that's why a big plus for the gastric sleeve is not the end all of procedures. You can still, you still have options with the gastric sleeve in, in, in other words. I talk about some of the positive, what are the, some of the negatives uh, with the sleeve? Well, one of the potential negative can be weight regain, right? With all of the bariatric procedures, the sleeve has a slightly higher uh, chance of weight regain over the years, right? Usually weight regain, if it's going to begin, we're talking about three to five years later. A lot of the times it's not because the surgery failed, a lot of times because individuals get their appetites back, their cravings back, and they start eating things that are high in calories, more sugars, and so on, and they can regain some of the weight back. One of the things that can happen after a gastric sleep also, it's acid reflux, right? Uh, or GERD, or acid reflux, or heartburn. Chances of getting heartburn after sleep is you did not have any heartburn to begin with. Maybe it's about five, ten percent, no more than ten percent. If you already had acid reflux or GERD taking a pill, a lot of the times I find that patients just go back to where they were before. Sometimes the, the it may go away, the acid reflux, but I find that other times you may still have the acid reflux control just the way you were controlling it before. However, patients that have 
moderate to severe acid reflux should not should not have a, a gastric sleep. If you have moderate to severe acid reflux, a gastric bypass will serve you better. However, if you do have a an endoscopy that shows you have a hiatal hernia, you can potentially have your hiatal hernia fixed and have the gastric sleep at the same time and still get good results from the gastric sleep. So those are the, the main uh, key points about the gastric sleep. Again, it's the most commonly done weight loss procedure because it works well um, when combined with good uh, eating habits. It gives you a substantial amount of weight loss and it's the least risky of all of the procedures that we do. And of course, if you haven't burned any bridges with the gastric sleep, you can still go back and get any of the procedures in the future that you may need with a bypass or a duodenal switch. The gastric sleep can easily com be converted to any of those two procedures. I, I hope uh, this helps clarify the gastric sleep and, and how it works. Thank you.